Hi, I'm State Senator Pete Lacido. COVID has taken a toll on all of us. We have a lot of individuals that had to collect unemployment benefits. We've heard their stories, thousands that have called the office, wrote us letters, emailed us. Today, you're gonna to hear their stories. Jenna, why are you here today? Because I've yet to receive unemployment for my initial PUA claim back in March. It's been incredibly frustrating to say the least. Um, and I, yeah, I definitely, I was looking for that money. I was waiting for it to hit my account because I was originally approved for it and everything. And um, yeah, I've got bills to pay, the forms online. I've sent messages to unemployment offline. I've tried to chat with them in real time and been denied. I've tried the phone. That's about, their in-person offices are so close, so. What do you think the state can do to assist others like yourself and moving forward will give us a better option or alternative to what has been going on. Honestly, um, I was incredibly disappointed to see the state of the website. Just like right away, um, it was very difficult to navigate. Um, haven't heard anything back from anyone in the unemployment offices. So bottom line is there needs to be a better system that helps us get our money. Something and everything needs to be done for it to be improved. They're the only ones that call me back, so thank you to you and your staff. Thank you. Um, and since then I've been able to reopen my claim and receive some benefits post-dating the initial claim, um, but I've still yet to receive anything from March 15th to May 2nd. You're a substitute teacher? Correct. And as a result you rely upon that pay that you get as a substitute teacher to take care of yourself? Yep. You've heard the stories, we've heard you in our office, now it's time to make some changes so that everybody gets the benefits they deserve.